First of all, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. How were the holidays for you and the family? You know, I would have liked to have. I felt like they went by too quickly. There was so much excitement. And um, I wanted to hear more Christmas music. And I was running here and running there. And um, I just felt like it went too quick. And new babies to celebrate and just... Yeah. I can't believe we were just talking about Phoenix just turned one. It seems like this was six months ago. It's like a roll of toilet paper. My father-in-law once said that. In the beginning, it's all fluffy and big. And then all of a sudden... Yeah. How did you guys celebrate? How was the birthday party? Well, we're going to do the party next week because we have some relatives coming in town. So we'll do it next week. That'd be really We special. just went over and, you know, saw the kids and played around and he's taking his birthday pictures and he's a little ham, I have to tell you. He dances, bops his head, he's hysterical. <laughs> always a smile on his face. He is always smiling. Such a happy baby. Pictures. And did we see a video of him dancing? And he's, he, he, he smiles and he's like looking, he just like he knows what to do already. Amazing. How is Paris coping with being a mom to two babies? I mean, having two kids, under two, that's a lot of work. I think that she is very, very natural. Um, she had a, a little, a uh, few months back, she went to change the diaper and I was there with her. And anyway, she got some pee pee in her face. So she's like, <laughs> mom, wait, what, what? <laughs> Forgot to warn you about that. Well, that was a while back. It seems like literally it was three or four months ago. I can't believe how quick the year went. And how is Phoenix coping with having a newborn, a little baby he sister? He loves her. He pets her like a puppy. And she's a big baby. She is a big baby. My kids were, um, let's see, Baron was 10 and a half pounds. Paris was 9, 12. Nine. Nikki was the littlest, 8, 3. Wow. 8 pounds, 3 ounces. So he was like, I think, maybe 5 and a half pounds. So when I first went to go hold him, it was like, am I going to break this? It's like a piece of Tiny, china. yes. The London was big. And so he's not having a problem with not being no. the number one anymore, because sometimes that No. And then there's the four dogs. So we got to keep them happy, too. They're all, he's in his little walker, and uh, he's very sweet with her. And then Baron and Tessa, they have the new baby, too. Yes, they so will just, have their baby in about seven weeks. Wow. So we will have four girls and four boys. You have your hands full. Glamma. I don't think, yes. I feel like we should call you Glamma. Is it, what is your name? Are you called Granny? Kiki. What are you called? Kiki. I was going to say, you're, there's no way they're calling you Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Far too grandma's Kiki. So where did Kiki come from? My sisters, when they were little, couldn't pronounce Kathy. And my dad, so they called me Kiki. I'm just glad she's so happy. She's waited a long time. She's the happiest she's ever been. She's just at peace, you know? Amazing. She feels very full and whole now. And she and Carter are um, an incredible couple. And I saw a picture posted for Kyle's birthday. You were yes. celebrating together. How, how was that? How much fun was that? It was the best. We had such a good night. Really a great night. I think she's really happy and um, doing really well. Is she, is she happy? Is she settled now? I think is she, she is. In a good place. And I'm, if she's happy, I'm happy. If the children are happy, the children are the most important. But of course, her happiness as well. And Kim's happy. And Kim's happy. That's great. You're all, you're all in a good place, right? So let's talk about your new project. First of all, tell me, why was Smirnoff the right partner for you? I was excited because Smirnoff, I smashed tea. And it was a tea party, and I got to play uh, General Knopf, Smirnoff, and the heiress of this tea empire. And um, I thought... The dancing and the singing, I got to go into the studio and sing in a recording studio by myself. Um, and then the dancing and the costume. I mean, it was a lot of fun. 
It was a lot of work. It was 10 hours one day, 11 hours the next day in high heel shoes. And I have to tell you, I paid for it a couple days later. <laughs> um, but it was great. These dancers and actors were incredible. I was very intimidated in the beginning because it really was like a mini, like, Broadway show. There must have been 110 in crew. Uh, I was blown away. Um, you do such a great job. They made me feel so good. They're like, you're doing a great job. That's great. That's great. So that really helped me. So I know you love to sing, don't you? Yes. So were you, but you were still feeling nervous when you went into the recording studio? No. No? No. Ooh. And the song is a really catchy song. Very catchy. So, I mean, I'd go home at night and I knew the song. So is this a new avenue for you? Could oh, we see Kathy maybe. Hilton on Broadway, maybe? Maybe off-Broadway. <laughs> you have to start somewhere. <laughs> Tell me about the flavors. We have two flavors, peach and lemon. What's your favorite? I'm liking the peach, but I'll put a little lemon in too. So do you consider yourself a one-take wonder? How many takes are we talking during filming? Did you have to do it over oh, and over and over again? It was a 10-hour, and then they were yeah. building the sets as we went along. It was amazing. It was really amazing. And would you like to do more of this? I wouldn't mind doing something fun. Are you it's, take a up some, it's a lot of work. It's, it's a lot, lot of, of good exercise. Um, I had a blast. I had a, you know, I chalk it down as experience. So we know that Paris is working on some new music. Yes. And Sia's going to be producing her album, right? Right. Which is very exciting. So could we see a little collaboration with I Paris and Mom? We, we have, she's mentioned it to me, so she? we'll see, we'll see. Where can we get the Smirnoff Ice Smash Tea? It will be on the shelves in February, and all your convenience stores, gas stations, you name it, we'll have it there. Here is to our new project, and I look forward to smashing the tea with you soon. Cheers. Cheers.